I want to do, I don't know, this this range, I type the X, right? Now I'm, I'm on this range, but you can see it's my 3D view, right? So that other stuff is, is gone now, right? That other section box, so. <laughs> The command. Go ahead, Michael. Yep. When you were um, demonstrating that command, you selected an object, then selected mm -hmm. um, view, the view tab. Uh, for for the for the section box tool. For the section box, yeah. Yeah, it's under. Here, let me share screen again. It's, I was trying to follow you on that, and somehow I. It's kind of it's kind of one of those hidden ones. So if you select an object, uh, under the modify. So this is this will be the modified tab. So whatever object you're selecting, obviously has some mo different modified tab, but. Under view is this little guy here that looks like it looks like if you look closely, it's a section box with an object in it. And you can see it says BX. That's the default keyboard shortcut. And so you click it, play BX, and then it does that. You just gotta be mindful that it takes your default 3D. So if you yes. do it again, Correct. it's gonna So yeah, so that's rename great it. point. Great point. It's using it's it's doing your default 3D. So um so a lot of times, like, yeah, if if, if you want to maintain that section box, then you got to duplicate your view. So that's a good point, Steve. Uh, and that's why there a way to a, reset I like the them? coin section box. So yeah, yeah. Is there a way to reset it, a, a section box, that, like to, yeah. to, or to, to get rid of it? Yeah, I'll show you real quick. I'm going to open a file that has stuff in it so we can use that. But you so can I only have one section box at a time, right? In your 3D view, correct. Correct. Yeah. That's why... That's why we're saying sort of um, if you want to maintain you, that section box, you can you want to you want to duplicate that view. So duplicate it, it the view. It. Yeah, because right. I've done that. Right. So like right now I'm in this view. So I selected all, right. all these I, framing. I type BX. And now I don't know why I went way up in space. Double click. There we go. That's weird. For some Whenever reason, you uh, have something selected and you change the view, the view extents will be blown up. Yeah, well, it, it depends on the objects, right? That the, Those specific objects these certain objects will do that to you for sure certain objects yeah. won't though you know it's, it's it's weird um so like you can see it made a section box around those those framing things but those are again those are framing things that are hosted and so those are probably not not good objects to use but so if you wanted to maintain this right you'd have to basically go to your default view which i don't know where it's probably right here right and you'd want to duplicate it and call it like whatever section then you'd have to manually go to it because if i go you know notice this is called 3d right so if i go back to my floor plan Go to the first floor now. Try an object that won't do that. And I want to do, I don't know, this this range. I type BX, right? Now I'm, I'm on this range, but you can see it's my 3D view, right? So that other stuff is is gone now, right? That other section box. So it's a good way to hop back and forth. But to Steve, Steve's point, if you wanted to maintain, um, like I, I, I duplicate this view here, you know, duplicate. I don't know why I say with detailing even on 3D views, but whatever. Uh, and then rename it and call it, you know, 3D range or whatever, right? And so now that's that's held there. And now if I do another BX, it's not going to affect that view there, right? So as far as resetting, eh. so the the honestly the only way to to sort of reset a section box, um, in my as far as I know, other than maybe going back to a 3D, going back to like your floor plan, selecting like the floor plate and pressing BX or something, which I've done that in the past, right? If I get super <laughs> lost. Um, or, or something weird going on in the section box, you, know, you can grab an element that's like spans the whole building or something and get yourself pretty far out there, right? So if I do this, type BX, you know, that kind of stuff. But um, if you Are uncheck, you... if you uncheck section box, click apply. Didn't even know that and that then check, checkbox And then check there. it again and click okay. apply. So you can see it's out there. So you have to turn it off, turn it on, and it'll go to the <laughs> extents of whatever's in that view. And it is the extents of the view, right? So um, if if this was all hidden, if I hit all this stuff, huh? what the hell is that? Look at that. Was, what the hell is that doing out there? <laughs> that's Somebody had too much time on their hands right there. 
What the hell? <laughs> I don't even know why that's out there. I you know, copy whatever. paste that from another project and it got dropped. I, it may, in, maybe, yeah. So ground. notice when I turned on BX, see, it, it was the extent of whatever's in your view, right? Um, so, so if I was in a, if I jump into a floor plan again, and I hit, I don't know, like these two things, I hit BX, right? Oops. So there's that that kitchen. So if I want to reset it, uncheck it, and then check it again, you can see it's there. Yeah, right. Uh, <clears throat> how the section box kind of do it is, if you have scope boxes, the scope yeah. box will. If you have scope boxes, and, yeah, yeah. And then if you turn off, then if you say to none, then the the section box remains. Yeah. So then yeah. you can pull in from there. Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. So the you can flip it. You can assign. When you assign your view, the three D view to a scope box, it will it'll do the section box as well to it. But yeah, but you can also select a scope box and type type, type BX, right? There's all these different ways, but yeah, that's that's how you do that. Did, I would that, use you section found, you boxes. Found it now? I would use section boxes for three D views to cut the edge of topo surfaces because mm -hmm. topo surfaces used to be hollow. Yep. And so if you didn't cut the edge with a um with a section box, you would just see hollow yep. underneath the surface. So mm -hmm. I'd use section boxes to get a oh, yeah. solid edge if my mm -hmm. topo surface wasn't really that large. Section boxes are incredible. Like that's definitely, definitely put those in your arsenal of, of Revit tools. I use it. I use it absolutely all the time. And there's another, another real quick tool. If you start getting into section boxes, um, sometimes, sometimes there's these weird things where, um, <laughs> it's so section box has its own category so if you go into annotation you go down here it's under section box it's weird that it's an annotation because it's a 3d thing but whatever it's under annotations you can turn it off but you can also hide them by element right so i can select them and i can say eh for hide element and then they're gone sometimes no matter what you do you can't turn it on don't know why just or some combination of turning these things off, be, especially if you're using someone else's model and you're trying to figure it out. Um, so there's a tool in PyRevit. I still need to update mine for the icons, but there's a tool in PyRevit called Section Box. And what it does is it literally just changes the visibility of Section Box in your view, no matter how it was turned on and off. Mm. Right. So mm. that can cool. be something that you may not realize how uh, valuable that is now, but when you're one day in that file that I'm talking about and you can't find the F in Section Box, no matter what you do, that's going to come in super handy because um, it's 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 one of those things where like you turn it on and off here and it doesn't matter because it's, it's hidden a certain way. Um, so under PyRevit, that's why this tool even exists. It literally just turns on and off the section box. For you. And basically, it doesn't matter which way it was turned on and off, it'll turn it on and off, which is really cool. Do so you need I a tool like that for oh. other things? <laughs> yes, they do. Uh, so when, <laughs> when I'm actually, usually what I'm doing is when I'm hiding section boxes, I will actually, if it's not built into the template for that specific view, um, I use this tool a lot because I know when I hide it using this tool, it's always going to turn on using this tool. <laughs> but uh, it's just one of those weird things. 